गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स नाउ वी वॉन्ट टू स्टार्ट न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज चैप्टर नंबर फोर इन लास्ट थ्री लेक्चर वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड रिलेटेड विद चैप्टर नंबर थ्री ऑलरेडी थ्री लेक्चर वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड नाउ रिलेटेड विद चैप्टर थ्री इफ यू हैव अंडरस्टैंड प्रॉपरली देन यू गो ऑन फोर्थ चैप्टर बिकॉज अगेन इट इज रिलेटेड विद द इक्वेशन सो कोऑर्डिनेट ज्योमेट्री इन विच टू एक्स एंड वाई एक्सिस आर देर and two points x and y same thing we are discussing it here so chapter number 4 linear equation in two variable or in shortcut we can say that letv in shortcut we can say linear equation in two variable in eighth standard we have a linear equation chapter number 2 but related with one variation so first of all we go Go to discuss later in the lesson number two. That is eighth standard. Linear equation in one variable. Standard form is a x plus b is equal to zero. Standard form of linear equation in one variable. That is a x plus b is equal to zero. Where a not equal to zero. One example is also here. Three x plus five is equal to zero. Now to get the value of x, it is easy. Three x plus five is equal to zero. So three x. Is equal to minus five and x is equal to minus five by three. That is the value. But when two variables are there, it is not that uh, easy to get answer on x-axis. That is why now on this lesson we are discuss with the linear equation in two variable. So then the related chapter we have to first go to. Definition. In definition, so we have to go first. Linear equation into variable. Standard form is a x plus b because two variables are there. So x and y are variable. So linear equation in two variable a x plus b y plus c is equal to zero. That is the standard form. Now here two variables are there x and y. Now a and b and c. So where a comma b comma c are real number. So we know that in chapter number one real number, natural number, whole number, integer, rational number, irrational number. Everything is included in real number. So we can take any thing. That is any number, any number. Now where a b and c are real number, a and b here important point. A and B are not both zero at a time. If we will get A and B zero, then equation can't stand. So we cannot take like that. So that is a necessary condition that A and B both not at a time zero. Now some examples are given. So if the example is one point two s because one point two again it is present in real number. So 1.2s. Here variables are x and y, but in maths we can take a to z any variable. So here s and t are the variable, while a, b, and c belongs to real number. So one example is written 1.2s plus 3l t is equal to 5. It is in standard form. No, it is not in a standard form. A standard form is still not given. Why? Because x plus b plus c is equal to zero. So what I have to write? How I will write in a standard form? That is one point two s plus three t minus five is equal to zero. That is a proper way I have to write in a standard form. Now p plus four q is equal to seven. P plus four q is equal to seven. So how I have to write now again? P plus four q minus seven is equal to zero. P plus four q minus seven is equal to zero. Now again, I will write in standard form. Here, which are the variables? That is, P and Q are variables. One more example: three is equal to root two x minus seven. Three is equal to root two x minus seven. So what I have to do? I have to shift this thing. From left to right, so root two x minus seven minus three is equal to zero. 
So three examples are here, and we have to write in a standard form. So this chapter is also easy. Now the question related exercise 4.1. So before we go for 4.1, on page number 67, one example is given. In this, you have to write the standard form and write question is write standard form standard form and and find a b and c what we have to find a b and c if you are right a b c in capital then it is not possible mostly we are using small so again question is example uh, page number 67 example number 1 Questions are given. Write the standard form of equation in two variables and find A, B, and C. So one example is 2x plus 3y is equal to 4.37. So if I write the standard form then 2x plus 3y minus 4.37 that is standard form. 2x plus 3y minus 4.37. Now find out yourself a, b, and c. Again, I am writing it here again standard form. x minus root 3y minus 4 is equal to 0. Here 5x minus 3y minus 4 is equal to 0. Now you will see some students going where we are doing the mistake. Equal to 4.37. If it is in right hand side, if I will shift it to left hand side, I have to change the sign. So here it is equal to 4.37 convert plus which is plus. So when we come from right to left, again sign change. So 4.37. Same thing at here. X minus 4 is equal to root 3. What I have to do first? root 3 by must be shifted from right to left so I have to change the sign but I have to write the standard form so in standard form if you will see that first is x then y and then c so standard form is 2x plus 3y minus 4.37 here x minus root 3y minus 4 is equal to 0 here 5x minus 3y minus 4 is equal to 0 now what we have to do find out a b and c so you have to write A, B, and C. Question number 1, question number 2, and question number 3. So 3 questions are given. So we have to find out. Now in question number 1, what is the value of A? Question number 1, value of A that is 2. Value of B that is 3. Value of C that is minus 4.37. Now, in second question, don't write the ABC value from directly from the question. First, we have to convert in a standard form. Now, in second, here someone are, someone are writing x that is wrong. When a not, no value is given or nothing is given, so we know that the coefficient of x that is 1, x is variable. So when the coefficient is not given, we have to take 1. So here we have to take a is a 1, b is a minus root 3, and c is equal to minus 4. Now third question, write yourself 5x minus 3 by minus 4. So a is equal to 5. Minus b, that is b, and c is equal to minus 4. So, if you will, uh, in exercise 4.1, this type of questions are there. These type of questions are there, you have to do it yourself because already we have discussed it. So, uh, example 6, uh, example 1, 4 questions are given, but I have to write only 3. Now, one more example. 2 that is page number 60, 
it that also we have to discuss so in this question only one equation is given but if you read the equation there is only one variable is there and we have to write in a standard form of two variables so what we have to do that is important again we will see that x is equal to minus 5 only given and we have to write in a two variable but only one variable is given so what we have to write we can take 0 so you will see that how first standard form is x plus 5 is equal to 0 now we have one variable that is x is given c is constant term is given but b y is not given so what i have write 0 y so 1 x plus 0 y plus 5 is equal to 0 now it is equal to the standard form if you will see that now we will match ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 where a is equal to 1 b is equal to 0 and c is equal to 5 so now in this question if we will to find out a b and c so here a is equal to 1 b is equal to 0 and c is equal to 5 here so that type of question is also asked now one more question y is equal to 2 one more question y is equal to 2 now if you will see if i will take y is equal to again compare it with standard form so here x variable is not given so first of all i write the standard form that is y minus 2 is equal to 0 now variable of x is not given so what i have to write 0x 0x plus 1y minus 2 is equal to 0 now you can find out yourself a b and c so a we can take 0 b we can take 1 and c we can take minus 2 a is equal to 0 b is equal to 1 and c is equal to minus 2 clear now one more 2x plus 3 is the last sum so 2x is minus 3 is equal to 0 I have to write first because 3 should be shifted now standard form of 2x plus 0y minus 3 is equal to 0 now find out yourself a is equal to what I have to write a is equal to 2 b is equal to 0 and c is equal to minus b so I think example also we have completed example one also we have completed so exercise 14 point uh, sorry exercise 4.1 question number two and three i think two questions are that that you have to do it yourself now uh, practical use of this where we have to use the practical use of linear equation in two ways so when two teams of india and Sri Lanka are playing and some when they are playing and some of the total run is 170 some of the total run is 170 then what I have to write x plus y is equal to 170 why ratio runs relative with India is x runs relative with Sri Lanka is y and total run is 170 now also we can make equation sum of 1 kg apple and 1 kg banana is 150 so you can take x as a apple and y as a banana now relation between two variables sometimes relations are also given 1 kg apple is 1 kg apple is 5 times then 1 kg apple is 5 times than 1 kg pineapple price of price of 1 kg price of 1 kg apple is 5 times than 1 kg pineapple now if I want to make equation of it 
how I put it. So, 5 1 kg upper that we have to take x, 1 kg pine upper that I have to take y. So, equation is x is equal to pi y. Now, standard form is x minus pi y is equal to 0. Same relation we can take uh, ball pen and pen or pen and pencil. You can take pen and pencil. I think in your 14 point, uh, sorry, for exercise 4.1 question number 1, there may be equation by given statement. Because these lessons again come on 10th standard and it has a weightage of 8 marks. In 10th standard, it is a weightage of 8 marks. So we have to go through basic related with the linear equation in two variables. So that is sufficient today. Again, what we have to understand today? Linear equation in two variable we can say LET first of all standard form of one equation that is already we have understand in the eight standard that is ax plus by is equal to zero where b not equal to zero. But in when it comes on ninth standard, linear equation in two variable standard form is ax plus b y plus c is equal to zero, where a, b, and c are real numbers, so we can take any number. Rational, irrational, pi even though we can take a, b both are not zero data. If I will put a and b zero both, then equation cannot run it. So examples are given, and we have already uh, complete example one and two. So in your homework exercise four point one, you have to complete. That is sufficient for today's lecture. Thank you.